Get ready, because we are going to show up. Hi, I'm Hugo, Design Ops Lead here at Canva. Every year my friends and I celebrate Mardi Gras. It's a time of celebration, love, and of course, togetherness. And last year, Canva went big with our own team taking part of the parade. Oh, that was such a great time. But this year promises to be even bigger with World Pride being held here in my home city. The first time it's ever been held actually in the Southern Hemisphere or Asia Pacific region. This could be, but I hope it's not, once in a lifetime experience. So I want to make sure that we make the most of it. In this video, I'm making some merch so my friends and I can show up in style. I will make a t-shirt, a tote bag, and maybe even a banner that we can hold. But here's the problem. Mardi Gras to me is all about being yourself and celebrating the things that make you an individual. So therefore, making a one-size-fits-all design is not going to work. Instead, I'm going to make a template and a collection of elements so my friends can jump into Canva and design their own outcome. It will still have a cohesive team, but they can also enjoy designing their own unique twist on it. So, before I show you how easy it is, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Each and every week, we are releasing new videos that will teach you all about the things that you can do in Canva. From creating greeting cards to designing websites, it's all here, and you'll be an expert in no time. Okay, the first thing I need to do is to create a brand kit. What's a brand kit, you ask? Well, it might be easier if I just show you. From the homepage, just type brand kit. As you can see, it's a collection of design choices and assets, pre-made and collected on one page, so it's super easy to just copy and paste from. It has fonts, colors, graphics, logos, and even selections of images. This will set up the look and feel for my group, ensuring we all remain on brand in a consistent and appealing way across all types of content. Anything with a crown is for Pro or Canva for Team subscribers. Anything without is free for everyone. If you want more info about brand kits and some examples, check out this article right here. There is some great info and videos that explain it all in details. I will also put the link in the description down here. This is the template that I've chosen. Hit this button and it will open a completely customizable template in a new window. Normally, the easiest thing to begin with is colors. And knowing what I'm designing for, it's pretty easy to decide what my colors need to represent. Your color palette really sets the visual tone for your design. That's why it's important that everyone uses exactly the same ones. Any variation to the colors will mean the overall unity will start to dissolve. Think about the famous brands and the colors that they use. They can't just decide to suddenly start using a different hue or a different shade. That will just confuse their audience and lose any equity that they have built up so far. So colors equal important. I will select the colors and move them up here. Next, I will work on the fonts. I will choose the font they can use for a heading, a subhead, and maybe something a little bit more fun, like a script. I don't really need body copy here, as we are not going to be designing anything that requires a lot of text. Our stuff will be more bold and graphic, so no body copy for me. So these are the ones that I've chosen, and instead of just naming them, I will actually put them in the font, so everyone can see what it looks like. Now, I don't need a photo palette, but I do need a graphic toolkit. I will start with some typographical examples. Maybe using the fonts I've just chosen. Yeah, I think that's working. I will try in some different colors too.
Okay, this is really starting to come together now. But because I'm not using photos for the imagery, I will lean heavily on Canva's huge elements library, which is full of customizable graphics. I will start by searching for some things that are quite obviously to me. This search field is super smart, so you can be pretty specific with your search. When you see something you like, click on it and it will appear in your editor. You can also just drag and drop. When you do select something, a magical recommendation list will appear below. Select See All and you'll be delivered with a selection of similar styles and colors. Perfect for building up a cohesive look. Likewise, you can select an element. Hit the info button here and then choose See More like this. Okay, let me quickly finish this. Oh, I like this one. The only thing left is the top. This needs to show how everything below can be used together. So I will grab a few examples and combine them like this. Yeah, this is feeling really, really good. Okay, I also promised you some merch. So let's jump in. I will start with a t-shirt. I find that they are a great way to realize a design and work out how it will come together. I will select print products for the homepage and then clothing and then t-shirt. This will open a blank template in the editor. All I need to do now is jump back on my brand kit and copy and paste what I want onto the front. Add a new page. This will be the back and then combine a few elements into a design. Up here you can see how it will look on the actual shirt. Choose the color here. I'm liking black for this one. Select my size, hit the checkout, and then in about a week, it will be turning up at your door. It's that easy. For my friends to make it easy for them, I'm going to copy and paste the whole brand kit and put it here on the last page. That way it's easy for them to grab elements and they don't need to go between tabs. I will add some instructions here about what they need to do. And at this time, I'm going to the share menu. I will select template link and it will give me a link I can text to the group. Every time they use this link, it will give them each a completely unique template. Theirs to design and make their own. Have a look at what they have come back with. Everyone has their same front, but look at the backs. They are all so different, but it still feel like they go together. That's the power of brand kit. Okay. Next, let's do tote bags. Aren't they awesome? It's exactly the same process. Create a template, two pages so it's double-sided tote, another page and drop the brand kit in. Create a template link. And that's it. So easy, isn't it? So this has got me inspired to create a banner, something that we can all get behind and hold as part of the parade. And because we already don't have lifting with the brand kit, it's really simple. Back into print products, but this time go here. Again, add an extra page and drop the kit in. Design it up. Give me a second. Yeah, that's feeling really good. This time when I go to print, I can select what size I want. Notice how the preview changes when I change the size. 
that's really helpful for understanding how large it will be. I'm thinking large. Or should I go extra large? If I want to share it with my friends, I can just go here and hit the view only link. I can send it in the message and this is what they will see when they click on it. They can react down here and even share with more people here. Ooh, I'm getting so excited now. We're all going to look so good. You know, you could even apply the brand kit to social media, to your Instagram posts before the parade or to TikTok during the parade. It's exactly the same process. Create a template, drop in the kit, and then share a template link. It's endless what you could create here. Hey, you're still here. If you're feeling excited about merging up your crew, check out this video, it's the perfect follow-up. Or you can also check this playlist. I'm sure that you'll find something that you love. And if possible, you could leave your like or your subscribe and really help other people to find these videos. So thanks for watching.